Even though you may not be considering it right now, Samsung is already working hard on the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Rumors regarding the device are beginning to circulate, however we don't have all the information. We should undoubtedly be interested in learning more about this future flagship phone based on these rumors as well as Samsung's stellar history of smartphone releases. As time goes on, we can also anticipate that these rumors will pick up even more steam. Given Samsung's emphasis on Galaxy AI features in this year's phones, it is safe to assume that the Galaxy S25 lineup, including the Ultra, will continue to push the boundaries of artificial intelligence. Additionally, Samsung appears to be determined to outshine Apple in the high-end phone market, so it should come as no surprise that camera improvements will be at the top of Samsung's to-do list for the Galaxy S25. Here's everything we currently know about this much-awaited gadget, along with our best estimates as to what Samsung may have in store for us, as we wait for additional details. It appears improbable that Samsung will make a significant alteration for the Galaxy S25 model after making the audacious decision to go to titanium for the S24 Ultra's frame. The cameras on the rear of the latest Ultras are ranged in tidy vertical rows, and the lenses stick out just a little bit. This is a constant design feature. It is safe to assume that Samsung will continue to this successful formula, but we won't know for sure until the leaked CAD renderings appear in the coming months. Now, let's talk about the display. According to rumors, the Galaxy S25's entry-level model will see an increase in size, reaching a generous 6.36-inch compared to the 6.2-inch of its predecessor, the Galaxy S24, while the Galaxy S25 Ultra screen will likely approach a whopping 6.9-inch, just a slight bump from the 6.8-inch display on the S24 Ultra. In order to outshine one another, we should accept this claim with a grain of salt until we get more precise facts. The peak brightness of the Galaxy S24 Ultra is an astonishing 2600 nits, exceeding its predecessor, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which had a peak brightness of 1750 nits. Phone manufacturers have been pushing the boundaries of maximum brightness on their screens. Samsung has entered the fray. It wouldn't be shocking if the Galaxy S25 Ultra goes one step farther and ups the ante once again. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without being said, let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.